Hey guys, we are here with Ming Chen from Comic Book Men. Oh, Ming oh, is oh, awesome. Oh, oh. Uh, Ming has tried our poplar from Futurama. Ming, thank you for joining us here. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys know this about me. I love food, man. Um, <laughs> it, like, I go to probably like 25, 30 conventions a year. You know why I go to them? I just want to eat. I, I really do want to eat. I know you eat. like the bar stuff. So we, <laughs> I like to drink, but you got to do the both, or else you get you know you get pretty tipsy pretty quick. Well, yeah. I have a fifteen year old, so we're not going to the bar. No, but we got food though. Yes. What do we have here? We have poplars from Futurama. Now these are not from Omicron Percy I eight. Okay. Uh, these are shrimp. Okay. Um, so we made these. Everybody loves. I love Futurama. I love Futurama. I as have home. seen it so many times. Yeah. So uh, if you want to try one and see what you think, here. I, I do. Here, I'll, I'll hand this to you. Uh, so, so uh, before I do this, what is what is this and what is in it? So it, ha it is shrimp and it oh. has, uh, of course, your flour. We have garlic powder, uh, garlic salt, um, Old Bay seasoning, Tony, Tony's Creole seasoning. I love Tony's. Oh, Tony's Shasheries? Yeah, like yeah, we the, put yeah the we, stuff from we, New Orleans. We put that stuff in everything. That dude, you that's know, some magic ingredient. You know what that that, uh, that Frank's Red sauce like? I put oh, yeah. that shit on everything. Oh, yeah. No, that's, Tony that's, Shasheries. It's Everything. life. Yeah, if you've never been Everything. in New Orleans, like, you know, if you've never had Tony Shasheries, it's an, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, I, I can get into the grocery store in Jersey, so it's good stuff, man. Okay, I'm going to dig in then. Here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's so, so, so good. Hate to talk while I eat, but I don't. It's a dinner <laughs> dude. That's, that's what we do dude. here. So, we watch comic book, man. So I, I have a few questions for you real quick, right? Let's go ahead. So I can tell just from the show that you seem to be real big on G.I. Joe mm -hmm. and Transformers, right? Yes. Am, I, am I wrong? You're not wrong. I'm an 80s kid. All right. Okay. So what would you say would be of all the stuff that came into the show, what would be your favorite item? I know you can say people. You met Stan Lee. We know that, right? right? We know Kevin Smith. I'm not going to ask you the question that everybody else asks you. Right. Well, that's boring. We're yeah, no, uh, you know, toy wise, uh, toy -wise the, the, the GI one. Joe USS flag aircraft carrier, bar yeah. none, game set match, nothing compares to that thing. A seven foot toy aircraft carrier, even now in 2023, almost 40 years, yeah, 40 years. It came out 40 years ago. Oh man, I'm old. Yeah, <laughs> 40 years ago, still one of the best toys ever made. That's all that, yeah, that was no doubt. That was great. Yeah, because every time I see that. Anton G.I. Joe came in, Transformers, yep. you know, the big other one. Is there another big uh, genre that you would say, like, this is my, if I was the... Uh, definitely Star Wars. Star and Wars. I know, you know, now, like, you know, everyone likes Star Wars, right? Not always the case, though. I think, you know, we, I grew up in the Star Wars universe. I was, I was one of the first movies I went to in 77. My dad took me to the Star Wars. Uh -huh. And I remember being on the theater for Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. But then, it, it's funny, if you, if you, if you, if you remember between like 83 and 97 when the re-releases came out, not a lot of people talked about Star Wars. They just kind of thought it came and went, right? And even yeah. George Lucas was like, yeah, I had an idea for three after and three before. I don't think I'm going to do them. So there was really no Star Wars for years except for the nerds who watched yeah. it at least once a year, like me and my friends, <laughs> quoted, quoted it daily and, you know, kept the flame alive. So, you know, now everyone's like, oh, yeah, I love Star Wars. Like, did, right. did you... You know, but we, you know? we we kept the flame alive during the late eighties, early nineties. So yeah, but that's my other fandom for sure. And of course we are a cooking show, so we have to ask you, yeah, what is your all time favorite meal? Like for me, I love schnitzel. That is my mine is my oh, go to German, okay. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. So what is your all time favorite food? If you're, Man, if, you're if you're on death row right now, yeah. What's, what's your final meal I, gonna I be? get that asked a lot. So I mean I th I think my, my death row final meal, it would be a combination of things. I would probably get like, you know, the in and out burger. Uh, maybe some fried chicken from William A. Scotch House in New Orleans. Um, I, geez, I need we need dessert in there. So, you know, maybe like Grater's ice cream from from Ohio. Oh, okay. and then um, you know, but cooking wise, you guys are the dinner dudes, so you guys cook. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys legit have an air fryer here, which like make it it, uh, it enables <laughs> me to no end. I uh, make a pretty mean chicken Kiev. You know, it's a which is just chicken with butter rolled inside of it. Okay, deep fried, which is great. Uh, but I, I cook a lot of Asian, so I, I, I cook. I say I love cooking. You know, if you can't cook, you can't eat. Right. You, know, you can go out and eat and buy stuff, but 
listen, man, like those those chefs, like they scratch their asses and then put it on the food, and like you know, it's the only way to be sure if you cook it yourself. Yeah, and, you know, you you know all the ingredients, but some of this stuff um, is fun. We've made everything from KFC chicken that probably should yep. taste just like it. Uh, cheeseburger mallow. He's made his own recipes. It's, yeah, that's you know, really fun. yeah. I love the decoding like the secret recipes. Uh, I buy like the secret recipes hand uh, cookbooks all the time. Oh yeah, and uh, I was like, I'm gonna make my own like Benihana or whatever, or my own <laughs> uh, like Mrs. Fields cookies. Uh, but yeah, the, yeah, so I, I can't choose why well, get a combination of things, but even just like a good, well, like perfectly cooked pasta with like bolognese sauce like uh -huh. that, you know, that's comfort, right? You know, after a long day, whip that up, like all is, all is right in the world. So if we, I'll ask, I'll ask you one more. Yeah. If we were going to make an episode and we're like, you know what, we're going to dedicate this to Ming. What type of meal should we cook? If we're like, I mean, legit, if we're going to cook a meal, we're going to, Hey, you know what? We saw Ming at Chattanooga Comic Con. Yeah. He told us we should make this one meal. What, what what should we make in our in our apartment? Oh man, I I, I mean, shoot, I love your schnitzel idea. Like pound like a pork cutlet flat and uh, just you know, good some a bunch of German stuff around it. And, you know, some, oh. put some sauerkraut on there. And, we uh, actually made a schnitzel at one point. We call it Alpine schnitzel. Yeah, uh, look, yeah, we had to make that. And then yeah, we actually yeah. made a, uh, a dude start coming actually from Germany. Yeah, he saw our schnitzel. I have to like, go oh. with that, or you know, or we just pounding meat flat. Then you know, just a good chicken parm, man. Oh, you know, we have not made a chicken parm. You know what? Yeah. We will be making a chicken parm. Okay. and dedicating that to Ming. Amazing. And we'll have to tag him on Facebook for it and stuff like that. Yeah, I love it, man. I love <laughs> it. And uh, I know if I need an emergency air fryer, I know where to come to. Yeah. At Ch Chattanooga Comic Con. We're gonna awesome. fix. Look, man, we got some chicken nuggets. We're gonna fix those. So no time to. Okay. okay. All right. We go. <laughs> All right. No. Thanks, no Ming. Problem. I really appreciate you. Thank you guys, dinner dudes. I love you guys. Uh, you guys are the best. All right. Uh, uh, bon appetit, everybody. <laughs>